Hey friends, this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it is to shine light on the recent events that has been happening. And I myself am not of a person that really talks about political politics because I don't really understand it. I don't really know it. I just like to stay in my lane and do my thing. And I think a lot of you are doing the same thing. You know, it's difficult as is trying to take care of yourself, let alone being sucked in all the drama of politics and um so i always think that you know what i don't want to be a puppet of politicians and, and and taking sides and so on and so forth but something that has hit me really really hard um uh, is this quote um silence becomes cowardice when occasion demands speaking out the whole truth and acting accordingly by gandhi um it just really hit me hard because i realized that I, I do have a voice. I do have an opinion about this whole whole injustice with uh, George uh, Floyd and, and everything. And it's 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 sad because you know coming from an Asian descent, like I guess we're so brought up in a way that we just we just need to take it in, you know, and just work around the system and you know what, weasel our way through and just to survive kind of thing. And it's like so for me, it's not really always about fighting back and it is i guess like it's very admirable and very very moving to see such a big movement happening around the world right now um and that it's it's unfortunate that it, these kind of things are still happening in in the 20th century and it's yeah, it's something that you know if we have a voice we need to speak up and yeah, so that's the reason why I'm making this video. I know I'm going a little bit in circles, trying to get my thoughts through to you guys, um, because I feel like some of you guys feel the same where it's you're trying to take care of yourself because you just want to stay out of the way and let the crazy people do the crazy things. But at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about the bigger cause and, and what kind of things we can do in our own powers. And and quite frankly, that's the whole point of this video is what can we do as a, a, a section of, of um, I guess, the, the community that supports the movement, but don't have that big of a voice. And it feels like that we're kind of silenced and that we're just kind of watching behind the scenes. And, and I want to be able to share with you guys that there are things you can do. Um, there are actually three things you can do. And, and I want to be able to share that with you. Um, so for some of you that don't know what's really going on, this whole Black Life movement is happening and um, all caused by, you know, George Floyd, which was killed because uh, of a cop that was kneeling on his neck. And, and it's not, I, I guess that's the, the, the whole kind of breaking point from this whole, whole peer pressure, not peer pressure, this whole injustice happening for years. And this has happened, um, for so long already and yes i think like to share with you some of the thoughts that i have for this is that the cop that murdered him should definitely go in jail i think that's a must and i think like justice needs to be served i think it's it's crazy that these people think that they are on top of the law and that you know they can get away with things and i think it's really really unfair um not to say not, not to tell you guys about my my thoughts are super warranted because quite frankly i understand that i will never ever understand the injustice that is happening within the system because i'm not i'm not there and i'm not experiencing it i'm in beautiful vancouver i'm super fortunate but that even when there are cases that it's unfair like we we feel the burn inside let alone being afraid to leave the house, being afraid to get pulled over by a cop, like that shouldn't really happen to anyone. So definitely I think um, justice needs to be served on that note. And I definitely empathize with the whole Black Lives Movement, uh, Matter movement. Um, I think it goes beyond Black Lives. I think it, it, it just goes with the whole concept of racism and it's it shouldn't happen and i mean sadly it, it, it's still happening and it, it really comes from the top is at the end of the day it's it's the leader that needs to show the world that people should be one big happy family i think like this is a really naive thought that i've always had when i was a younger kid that you know um why do we have family feud 
Like, why is my, why are my in-laws not liking my mother? My, my, my mother not liking my in-laws? And, you know, how come my aunt and uh, uncles are fighting? And it's just so unnecessary. And, you know, why can't everyone just be a big, one big happy family? And why can't love cure all? And that's exactly what my thought has been um, until, I guess, the last couple of years where I, I've grown up a little bit and I realized that, you know what? If you don't care about someone who cares, you know, why put in the time and so on and so forth and just kind of getting jaded by the world. And it's, it's kind of sad. And, you know, so back to the whole point with this whole Black Lives Matter movement, it's, it's true. It's, it's it, it, like, it, it's the racism that's, that's happening within um, the world and it, it shouldn't happen no more. And I definitely empathize with that. And I definitely support that uh, all the way. And I think it goes beyond the United States. It goes beyond black lives and like Asian descent, first nations. Um, there's like an, all these different types of people. We should definitely just come together as one and be united. I think that's, that's really what the cure is for everything. You know, life is hard as is with COVID-19, with natural disasters, with fire with their developing countries trying to just make do's end, make meets end. And it, it's just sucks already. And why are we as part of the solution trying to create more problems just because of money and power? And, and I guess, quite frankly, privilege. Um, it's just not the right thing to do. And definitely empathize with that. And the third thing that I feel about this whole situation that's happening is that, you know what, looting and destroying is super immoral i think like these opportunists and these criminals should be prosecuted you know these guys are, are kind of ruining the the whole movement but at the end of the day i feel like it's necessary because there's so many peaceful um protests that has been happening along throughout you know years um people taking a knee and then like you know organizations like nfl is just slamming them because they're putting down their knee in a big controversy this whole thing just happened and it's just this people are not being heard and and that's why this is happening right but then you know for the people that are opportunists looting and, and just trying to make um just trying to be benefiting from such a cause, those people should definitely be uh, prosecuted. I think that there's no excuse for that. And I think lastly, the, the biggest point to take away from this is that yes, um, there are bad cops, right? Um, but at the end of the day, I think like majority of the cops are, are, are good people. They're trying to help us out. They're trying to be there in when, when, when situations go bad. And I think like we as citizens, we definitely overlook um, the amount of, risk that these cops put uh, and then risk their lives and put their lives out there for us on a daily basis and we just overlook that um and that's the reason why they're always like on top of their a game and that's why they think take things very seriously because they understand the gravity of situations and how fast it can go out of hand now having said that there are bad cops in in the system as well but then at the end of the day when there are good cops and bad cops it really just comes back down to the system because the system itself protects and blanket protects the whole organization. And what does that mean is that we just need to make sure that we work out the system, we work out the kinks in the system to be able to protect the good cops, but also um, give accountability back to the ones that are actually, um, you know, uh, just ruining the whole reputation of cops. So I think like, it's really down to the system that needs to change and not just in the United States or anything, but it's around the whole world. Um, that I think we as a race or not, we as, as, as a human being, we should definitely go, go in it together um, to, to fix this. And I think, um, you know, we need to be patient. We need to be um, uh, patient. I think patient is, is the right word to, to let the people in, in powers do their thing. And it, changes won't happen overnight. And that's what I mean. Patient in the sense of, uh, like letting uh, letting the the whole system reform i think that's really really important but also being putting our voice out there to 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 make our make a change now i talked about a few a few items and a few areas that we can actually make a difference and first of all if you have a platform speak up right voice your opinion just like what i'm doing um as much as i i don't like do, speaking about politics i don't like speaking about things that 
could be very controversial like and and naturally attract haters which most likely will attract haters in the comment section below completely fine because at the end of the day i want to show you guys like and, and to be able to represent those of you who are in the same shoes as me that want to voice their opinion that wants to do something but just don't have the platform to do so or just don't think it's necessary because it's like hey you know what there are millions of people out there doing the same thing you know what let them do their thing no we need to take responsibility and that's that's what i'm i'm trying to do right now is to take responsibility because i have a platform and i don't want to waste it so that's that speak up number one Second thing is sign the petition, sign the online petitions. If, if you don't want to go out and protest, completely fine. You know what? Do something that you can. Sign the online petition. Link is in the comment section uh, in the description below. So sign the petition um, and just do what's right. And then third of all, go and support organizations that you truly believe in, right? Like you don't need to support the organizations that I believe in, um, but go and find the organizations out there that that under or that is doing something that you feel is in line with you in line with your values in line with what your thoughts are in line with what you believe in because it is super super difficult to get a movement going and when there is such a movement right now it is time for us to take an action we can't just sit back and just hopeful hope for everyone to do all the heavy lifting for us we need to do our part so I just talked to you about the three different action steps that you can take. I really hope that, you know, everyone stays safe, uh, stay, stay safe out there. Everyone stays, um, just stay safe. You know, like I, I'm getting very, my thoughts are getting all mixed up and it's very, um, a different kind of video that I'm sharing with you guys. So as you can see, I'm just going in circles and because there's just too many thoughts in, in here that, I want to be able to regurgitate back to you guys. But at the end of the day, I really hope that you guys are taking action. Stay safe throughout this whole thing and do what's right. I think that's now is the time to do so. Um, so that's that. I'll see you guys in the next video.